So here I have a low power tube amplifier based on the 12AU7. This is the circuit that I simulated in Falstad previously. I'm using the benchtop supply here. It maxes out at 20 volts and the alternate supply here maxes out at six volts. So I'm just using the max 20 volt supply set to 12 volts to supply both the 12 volts for the heater and the 12 volt for my B plus voltage. I have a 4.7K plate resistor, a 150 ohm cathode resistor. It's not bypassed, so this is not going to have a lot of gain. I'm doing that on purpose. And then I have a one meg ohm resistor connected from the grid to ground just to provide a steady ground reference there. And my input is going to the grid and I'm reading the output directly from the plate without any capacitance in between. So you might imagine that this is DC coupled to a following stage, or you would wanna put a capacitor here. Anyway, I have a 500 millivolt peak to peak signal going in and coming out, I have a 1.8 volt signal. And so that's a gain of almost three, but not quite. Although when I measure the peak to peak signal from the scope, from the wave generator in the scope to the input of the scope, it's actually measuring a little bit higher. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Anyway, you can see that we're at a bias point of around nine point something, 10 something volts. Actually, let's see if I can figure that out. How do I compute averages here? Okay, measurement, add measurement. There we go. All right. <laughs> okay. It's hard to hold the phone and think at the same time. Anyway, okay, so our DC bias on the plate is a little bit less than 10 volts. Let me take my waveform generator and click on amplitude and let's see, whoops, and let's see where it starts to obviously distort. It's actually distorting a little bit here. Okay, cranking that up. There you can see that it's still okay down here. It is, of course, an inverting amplifier, but it's definitely rounding over the signal up here. There you go. Rounding more and more. Definitely, it's still spiky on one end, but it's rounding on the other end. This is at, let's see, let's push this a little further. Okay, 2.5 volts peak to peak. Let's keep going. Three volts peak to peak. Here's five volts peak to peak going in. Actually, okay, there's five volts peak to peak. Let me rescale that. Okay, so with proper input scaling, this is a distortion pedal in and of itself. Hmm, I need to think about how I'm interpreting that bias. Here I have the input crank down to almost zero and it's showing 9.8 volts, but notice if I just shut off the wave generator altogether, it's floating at 10.2 volts. Hmm, 